Hi, I'm Jim. I'm Rinda. We're hardiness approach. Today is project day, so we thought we'd bring you along. Actually, you're gonna see projects that we've been working on all week. This is a fence. <laughs> yes, it is. Be, be nice. Um, we, we didn't have all of the materials we needed to put up the fence right, and we had some extra cattle panels, so we used those, which kept the dogs in where we needed the dogs to be. But now we want this to have some better aesthetic appeal and actually be a little higher. Yes. Um, she doesn't try to get out, but if she ever wanted to, she needs it to be tall enough that she can't. <laughs> yes. And for things that may want to come in, uh, it slows them down. Now we're going to do something a kind of... Um, different. Different. Our style. But we're going to use what we got to do what we want to do. They make hooks that go onto your T-post that will stand, hold out and you'll be able to put your 2x4 across it to put your pickets up. But for us to do it for this area that we've got right here would cost us $65. And so we are going to try another thing that costs us about $6. <laughs> And we have plumber's tape and we're going... It's called plumber's strap, actually. Plumber's... It's called galvanized hanger strap. It's a hanger strap. So see, we're using it to hang. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Only good. it's for pipes, but we've used it this way before with great success. So we're going to use it now with even greater success. Poor man's straps. <laughs> Pl plumbing straps. It's plumbing straps. And so you can see that we pulled one around tight and he screwed it in and then we tied one the other way tight and screwed it in and for getting them tight the first one obviously the screw goes in holds it down and then we pull it around and then I put the screw at an angle so that it takes the the, the the strap and pulls it to tighten it just a little bit so that it's not just sitting there loose and we're going up a hill so the pickets aren't exactly even but you can see how we're doing it we're even with the ground <laughs> slope and we have a two by three that we're putting in between each one to regulate it and that way they're space it space it out and it's and it's pretty good i i see one area that when you're on this side of it it looks like we need to fix it but when i was on the other side it didn't look like it needs fixed at all so the i'm not going to worry about kinda it the ground is just kind of going like this <laughs> so um we got to order the rest of the pickets today for that project and we've been graciously donated some two by fours by some dear friends and so we're going to be able to finish this we're super excited the project that we you know it, those of you who do ho homesteading projects will understand this okay originally we bought the pickets for a different purpose and when we worked on that project, we decided the pickets weren't going to work. So what we didn't have was enough pickets to do this full fence here because the other project was smaller than that. But we still had the pickets. So we said, let's use them here. They would look great. We just need some more. And that's why we have to order more to get them. Right. And they're tall enough that the turkeys can't get out. Well, yeah, the turkeys can get out. They don't know they, they can. They don't know they can. I, I'm expecting any day for to come out and find them perched on the top. But it does keep this little rapscallion puppy of ours in. So that's good. Um, that's one project. That's one project. Now it involves building a gate or moving a gate that we've already built for a different place. We're going to build Which, a gate. We're going to build a gate yeah. for this one? We're going to build a gate because okay. that one's going to stay there. I love building gates. So I get to build another gate? Yes. Okay. We have those shorter pickets that we're going to use for Okay. That. Okay. So this will be the gate that goes back here. Now, you can see this along here. We've been tearing out these red barn wood. It's, it's time for a story. We've been pulling these off, but what we did is we pulled enough off to put up two panels because we knew that we had two panels laying up in the barn, just waiting to be used. And while it's true that we had two pieces of paneling up there, neither one of them were a full sheet. In fact, one of them was very small. Uh, but when I looked at them, I saw that there were two, and I remembered putting two up there. What I didn't remember is they weren't full sheets. So we got to the point, let's go get them, after we had this tore off. And guess what? They wouldn't fit. They wouldn't work. So this has been sitting here uncovered for a while. 
that's how it goes sometimes. So now we're going to get enough panels to do the whole side and finish this project. <laughs> now, if we showed you the finished project after it was all done, you'd go, oh, that's nice. You have to see how crummy it looks right now. <laughs> what you're not seeing from what we're showing here is, is that part of this wall... We're going to show them. Okay. We're going to show okay. them. Okay, we're going to show you. Let me pull the plastic in. You see this wall? It is not hanging onto the concrete the way it's supposed to be. It's hanging out here. And so we've put up this four by four to hold up. <laughs> well, since we moved in, this whole wall down several feet was just hanging in the air. And so we did a lot to push it back, but it would never stay because the wood really didn't, the wood was pretty rotted and there was no way to fasten it down. So we finally got around to holding that up and now the next thing is to replace all the rotten wood that's in the wall. So we have to take everything off, replace the wood and then put the panels up. That's the plan. So we'll have a real wall that's not going to fall down during the next big windstorm. We already put a two, four by four at the other end also. And uh, a lot of the studs are still really good, but um, they are not um, two foot, 24 inches on center. No, they aren't. Or 16 on center. They're nothing on center. They're nothing. So we have to put false ones in to be able to put the four by eight pallet, pan panels And on. have them actually have a stud to set yeah. up against. We're very excited to get this done um, because, well, here, this is the, let me do this. This we did last year. And so this is what we're putting up all around there. And then we get to get our barn paint and paint it all. And it's going to be so pretty. <laughs> it's going to look good. And not fall down. Yes. Because he got this amazing tool called oh. a ram, a ram. You, you're the one that oh, found it. Oh, I'll put the title up. Anyway, it kind of shoots bullets into the concrete and secures the board to the concrete. Well, it's not bullets it shoots. It, it's, it's got a, a load on a shell and you have a nail, a concrete nail. And you pull the trigger, it goes off, and it drives that nail into the concrete. We will show you how it works when we're building this fence. Those of you who have used them, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But those of you who haven't and you've wanted to know how to put things into concrete, what a tool, amazing what it does. Because when we moved back to the farm, we were shaking the building and we're like, Ugh, no, because the inside is beautiful. The ceiling, the joy, they're not called Joyce at the top. What are they called? Rafters. Rafters. They're gorgeous. We just need a good foundation. <laughs> so, uh, the roof will be on the ground if we don't <laughs> straighten things out. So. so that is our project. Progress, right? <laughs> That's how it goes. But we, you, you pound away at them and eventually you get them done. Now I could go around the farm and show you all the projects we want to do, but let's not overwhelm you. It's that okay. Would overwhelm me. <laughs> What's fun for me right now is I'm being able to do some work and I'm loving it around the farm. I put together some benches that needed repaired. I'm going to be painting them. I, I cut trim to go 45 angles and put them on. Surprise the daylights out of him. It looks better than what I do. <laughs> no, but it's not bad. I use glue and, and, and drilled pre-drilled holes. All the things that the DIY shows show me to do. I did. It makes me feel so good. Anyway, you're going to see this project. So.